Thank you, Christian. Well, August 27th will mark the 60th anniversary of the explosion at the Standard Oil Refinery in Whiting. It was certainly an event that a lot of people will never forget. The Whiting Robertsdale Historical Society will present a video on the explosion this coming August 27th. Joining me to talk about this new video is John Ramovich of the Whiting Robertsdale Historical Society. John, welcome to the program. Thank you. Nice to be here. Well, John, what are your earlier memories of this explosion? Well, actually, the, the explosion is probably the first thing in my life that I remember. Uh, I was about two years old, and I remember my mother holding me in, inside the house. We looked out the window, and there the sky was red, the, the window was hot. And mm. I think the reason I remember is she was afraid that it might blow up. But what are we going to see on this video? Are these new interviews, historical videos of film, or what are we going to see? It's a mix of those things. We interviewed about 34 people in Whiting on video uh, last uh, end of last year, and we've uh, pulled together a bunch of pictures that the Historical Society has, as mm -hmm. well as a little bit of video, and we've put it together to tell the story of what happened on that day 60 years ago. And what are, what are some of the uh, commonalities of this video, of, of the histories where people were they, were they young kids, probably young kids at the time since it's been already 60 years ago? They range. There are some people who were in their 20s at mm -hmm. the time. Mm -hmm. uh, there are some people who were just about mm, eight years old at the time. Mm -hmm. So we have the perspective of those who were children and the perspective of those who were uh, adults already. Now, how long did this video take to produce? I mean, 35 people to interview, that, that must take a long time. Well, plus we're volunteers, so it wasn't mm -hmm. a full-time job, but we pulled it together in about a year. Uh huh. And then, so about the last year, you're putting putting this video together. Yes, we've uh, we transcribed all the interviews. We uh, went through them, picked out uh, clips that we wanted to use, and uh, found pictures that fit in. We even found some music from 1895 to oh. celebrate the opening of a na the neighborhood that got destroyed mm -hmm. by the explosion, which was called Stiglitz Park. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, when it opened in 1895, they had special music, so it was kind of exciting doing the research too. Well, of these videos, of these interviews, what surprises you the most? Did any one story stand out for you? No, because they were all so different. What surprised me the most was the variety of, of, uh, of viewpoints that people had. We, we interviewed people who were, uh, fought, were working in the plant at the time, were putting out the fire. We interviewed somebody who had his leg cut off by the blast, by the explosion and the debris which fell. We had uh, people who uh, performed as nurses. We had people who were National Guardsmen. So we had all kinds of perspectives of people. So I guess what surprised me was the variety. And this, this video is going to be shown on August 27th at the Whiting Library? Uh, at the Whiting High School, actually, the, okay. in the auditorium at 7 o'clock on uh, Thursday, um, August 27th. What do you hope people take away from this video? I think uh, probably for me the best thing to learn is that uh, when, when a community has a disaster like this, it was interesting to me the way everybody pulled together. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, all the differences that we may have, they, they disappear when we have a common disaster. We saw it in 9-11. I'm sure they saw it at Pearl Harbor. Uh, we saw it in Whiting in, on August 27, 1955. Well, John Morovich is with the Whiting Robertsdale Historical Society. They're going to be presenting a video on August 27th on the 60th anniversary of the Whiting, of the Standard Oil refinery explosion. John, thank you for being here on Lakeshore Report. Thank you for having me.